when Maestro von Dortmund, you basically gave you a job in Frankfurt quite quickly, I think. Yes, that is that is correct. Uh, you regret it? <laughs> <laughs> Do you regret Do it? You. <laughs> I was lucky because somebody cancelled. It was actually Mr. Prohaska in those days who cancelled a ballet evening, and it was Daphne and Chloe the whole thing, of course, and the Holzgeschnitzte Prinz, the wooden prince. And uh, of course, they didn't find anybody. And uh, it was, he cancelled, I think, I got a call ab around 11.30, something like that, whether, whether I could do the evening of these two pieces. And I did. And I actually did the Daphnis, not even looking at the score. And of course, wooden <coughs> prints, I had to look. But what they did not know, that I had a little relationship with the prima ballerina. <laughs> and, and I played everything on the piano, you know. But, they thought I'm a genius. <laughs> and so, so she danced for I, you at home. Right? Yeah, so yeah. I got, yeah. I got terrific, a terrific review. And Peter refers to the sort of the accessing the, the technology and so on in a slightly, this is getting in the way of the opera, manner. Um, and I, I'm not saying I, it's I, sim I sympathize with him, but in another way, it has helped create new audiences for opera, not, yes. not just in and Germany absolutely, and, and Europe absolutely. And, and beyond. And, and but it doesn't create better performances. The invention of the gramophone yeah. And, and, yeah. And, 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 you know, then the CD, DVD mm. and, and, and internet was... It was a disastrous performance. So, so, it, uh, so we sneaked out. Yeah. Okay, we went. Next morning I called him and said, listen, I'm sorry, but I had to leave, you know, it was just too... Yeah, he said, you know, it's, you listen to the worst performance I've ever conducted, because actually I had for the whole Tosca two hours, uh, it was a revival, two hours, Tosca is longer than two hours, you know, <laughs> but uh, anyway, two hours he had rehearsal, and the performance he said, you listen to, I, you listen to, I had all woodwinds new, I've never seen the woodwinds, and the new concertmaster. Yeah. See, these things... This is also the German and Austrian and so but on. Nobody yeah. talks yeah. about that. Yeah, but I about do. And I'm yeah. all, everyone yeah. is pitching yeah. at me, but yeah. I'm right. You know? it, it, it always strikes me as quite uh, intriguing sometimes when, uh, when, you, when you go to the opera or even hear concert performances and you have, uh, I'm thinking of Wagner particularly, you have these wonderful singers standing at the front of the stage. You can't bloody hear yeah. them. You think, your first responsibility, I mean, I don't know much about conducting, but Surely the job is, they've got to be heard. People being a little older than young, uh, <laughs> these people should be able and should open their ears, just get rid of being prejudiced.